before. And I just started having all of these really negative thoughts about myself, like, you know, what's wrong with me? Maybe everything, all the mean things people say about me are true. And, you know, why am I so disgusting? And hating my body. And um, normally I would have some positive thing to say to get me out of this, but I don't. And that's okay, too. I think these are normal. They happen to everybody. They happen to the best of us. We are the best of us. Um, and I just have to know that tomorrow, how I feel in here is going to change. And I can only hope that it changes for the better. But I know I'm beautiful. I just don't feel it. But I know I'm going to get through it. Okay, that was Lizzo. Basically making a video on TikTok, basically playing victim, basically saying how she doesn't feel attractive and how she doesn't feel beautiful and how she does, you know, and there's another video. Uh, she was talking about she don't look in the mirror because she don't like how she looks and all that kind of stuff. Look, ain't nobody trying to hear what Lizzo got to say because at the end of the day, Lizzo playing victim, you know, Lizzo is free to you know, look how she wants to look. But at the end of the day, she got to be prepared for what people going to say. Look, we live in a world where everybody got something to say about everything. And you just have to be prepared for it. People got stuff to say about me. I just respond how I need to respond at that time. And that's the only thing you can do. Sometimes you shouldn't respond at all. You know, there's an old saying, sometimes the best response is no response at all. You know, that's just real. And they don't got nothing to do with being scared and none of that kind of stuff. Sometimes you have people that's looking for attention and you can help bring notoriety and attention to them by responding to something that they say. Sometimes, you know, that's why it's called, called clout chasing. You build up clout by chasing clout. And that's what a lot of these dudes be doing. A lot of these chicks be doing. So as far as Lizzo go, Lizzo was the one that was going to Lakers games wearing, you, you know, outfits with her ass out twerking and all that stuff twerking playing the flute and saying she doing this for the big girls and all that kind of stuff so what's been going on a lot of people been ripping lizzo to shreds and not just her in particularly because of her size is be because how she presents herself and been presenting herself there are men and women out here with daughters and especially black men and women out here with daughters and they don't want uh their daughters to be looked upon and the way Lizzo is frowned upon because a lot of people make fun of Lizzo. They don't think what she's doing is cool. And then there is this image that they've been presenting since the emergence of Cardi B. Uh, and even though Cardi B ain't really black, and Cardi B has said herself she isn't really black, but she used that N-word like it's going out of style. You know, whatever the case may be, you know, um, here's the thing. Uh, it's an old saying, you are what you eat. You are perceived by how you conduct yourself. And it appears to me Lizzo can't take it. And she's sitting up there trying to play victim. You know, um, here's the thing. And I say this for the men and the women. If you dress a certain way and have a certain way you look, you should be prepared on how people are going to perceive you. You can't sit up there and say, well, why do people look at me this way and say this about me when you present yourself in a certain way? Lizzo has presented herself in a certain way. So if she's starting to feel it, if it's starting to take toll on her, what's being said about her or being said to her, remember, she responded to Dr. Boyce Watkins earlier this year you know so i'm i'm just saying so it you know let me say something lizzo is a nice looking woman that's real but i don't like the way that she presents herself as far as the, the image go of black women where she presents herself as over sexualized uh sort of like trashy 
and that's been the theme that they've been doing with black women. That's why they've been presenting artists like Megan Thee Stallion, the way they dress and all that kind of stuff. You know, I wish black people would wake up and see what's being done to them. And in particularly black women, you shouldn't be celebrating nobody like Megan Thee Stallion. And I'm just keep keeping it 100 because they presenting her of how they see black women as being just, you know, whores, prostitutes, over-sexualized, over-sexed, easy to, to have sex with. Because, like I said, there is this, this theme. I know you got some people praising the emergence or black women celebrating black women dating outside their race. It's funny and I'm going to talk about that later on, the double standard between black men and black women dating outside their race, you know, but you know, some of the clowns that's been pushing that narrative and stuff. But yeah, there's this thing where, like I said, people see black women as being horse and being easy to sleep with. And that's why they've been blowing up the Cardi B's, the Megan Thee Stallions and City Girls and, and, and other raunchy acts, you know like them if you got you know for real and the reason why some people been on Lizzo is because you have black men and women that have daughters and they want their daughters to grow up and be respected and perceived in a certain way not being looked upon as just being just sex objects and just whores with no nothing to them except their bodies so I don't feel sorry for Lizzo because at the end of the day she trying to play victim. But she was talking to gang shit about, hey, she can look however she want to. She was going, you know, playing the food, twerking and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, talked about she'd get through it. And I, look, she, to me, she might be doing this for a little publicity because y'all know it's been slow. It's been slow. These celebrities doing the best they can. And, and, and I get it. So, you know, I'm just saying this about Lizzo. I'm I'm just keeping it 100. Um, we tried to tell her they wasn't they, they was making fun of her really. They was just using her as a overrated minstrel show. And hopefully she will see that. When you had white people defending her, it was because they wanted to continue to laugh at her behind her back. What what what? white woman you see presenting herself like Lizzo was what white w w woman you seen doing what she was doing at the Lakers games nah they didn't ban her nah they, they let her stay because they wanted to, to continue to make fun of her and black women I'm just keeping it 100 I don't have nothing against Lizzo but I, I, I what I'm saying is it feel like is taking toll on her. You heard what she say. People were saying stuff about her. No. She isn't bad looking. But I, I gotta say this. You can dress a certain way. And still look sexy. I've seen black women. Who didn't have on the skin tight jeans. And all that stuff. You can still look good. With a nice dress on. Some nice heels on. You know. And look corporate. Look professional. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, so I'm just saying. It's women that 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 that's in the professional corporate world that look just as sexy as the ones that's walking down the street with the skin tight jeans and the and the shirts where they they breast is 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 busting out. I mean that's cool, that's cool for a man to see. It's cool, but I'm just as attracted as a woman, you know, dressed in professional attire. But if you dress that certain way, you know, where you want to dress sexy and, and, and you want people to see how thick you is, you can't be sitting up here being shocked if a man, you know, talked to you in the first phone conversation. He talked about, you know, he want to see what you do in the bedroom and the same thing for a dude. If you walking around in muscle shirts all the time, you know what I'm saying? You you mow the lawn with your shirt off and all that type of stuff. You go to the to the liquor store to get some drink and your shirt is off and all that stuff. And then you meeting these women and then the women is only asking you about what you can do in the bedroom. And you like, why are these women coming at me? You got to look at yourself because obviously you wanted that type of attention. 
And the same thing for you women that's always walking around with the skin tight jeans on and that. And like I said, that look good. But at the end of the day, you can attract the wrong type of attention. The same thing for you, you, you brothers out there. I'm just keeping it 100. This needed to be said. But Lizzo, come on, Lizzo, keep it 100. Stop trying to play the victim. You know what I'm saying? You signed up for this. You the one that was talking about you feeling good as hell and all that stuff. And you was, you know, big girls rock. And now all of a sudden you trying to act like, where is this coming from? So I'm just keeping it 100. I'm not going to go on her social media accounts and, and dog her out. I don't got nothing to say to her. I'm not going, you know, for real. But she need to quit try, trying to play victim. So for real, Lizzo, stop it. You know, this your boy Town Biz. I'm out.